Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. In today's episode, we play our penultimate game, second, our next to last game of the season. And currently, we are positioned at number seven. So in order to get... In order to achieve my goal of, of finishing in the top five, it's very unlikely we'll get past Topeka because there are six points ahead of us and there's only two games remaining. But Little Rock, well, Little Rock is the team we're playing today. That's who we're playing today. And now, I didn't remember this before, but we also need them to lose not tie, lose their second match in order for us to get by. Well, they could tie, but we'd have to be doing well in goal differential, and at the moment, it's not happening. So, we're going to take a look at who they're playing next, and we're going to see how likely it is that we can move up to fifth, potentially. Little Rock is playing San Jose! San Jose, the undefeated team that just beat us uh, four to nothing, three to nothing, four to nothing in the previous game. So we have a chance, but Louisville is also still in front of us. And we can check out who they're playing. Louisville takes on Concord today, and we'll take on Columbia in the next one. So I think we've got a good chance. If we can take care of business, if we can beat Little Rock, and I think we can, how did we do against them last time we played them? We lost three to nothing. Okay, so that's not a not encouraging, but I do think we can potentially beat them in this game, and that's what this hinges on: Manchester versus Little Rock. We're almost done with this season. How will it finish, though? Yeah, central defender there. Yeah, we're gonna bring Calvert out to do that. Okay, O'Keefe is a little tired. Shader is a little tired. But these are still... I think we can find the energy within to beat Little Rock. This is a home game as well. Manchester, let's finish the season strong. Taking a little while to load there. Okay, here we go. Manchester starts off with the ball. O'Keefe on the edge. We've got Calvert. His break-in skill has been one of our greatest things. And they don't have a central defender in there. They could go for that. It's not likely to succeed, though. So we're just going to break in. With no problem and go for the power shot and Calvert's shot is saved by Cal. So Roman will take that. Olsen O'Donnell will go into the box. And I'm actually gonna change O'Donnell back to center forward. Okay, here we go. The cross. Olsen takes the front post. O'Donnell keeps the back. Here we go. The cross goes in, and Olsen starts us up on the right note with a 1-0 lead. What a header. That's exactly what we're looking for. We are hungry for a top five finish, and we can do it. Thompson gets the ball. He has the nutmeg skill, but he can't use it just yet. He goes for the shot, and Hodges saves that. Scruggs and Hodges had a very good first half of the game last against San Jose, and then a terrible, terrible second half. So hopefully the the good version will show up for this. So Shader is going to block off Urube in the front, and Tompkins will try and take position from Bulls, which does happen. It's taken easily by Shader. And the attempted tackle does not get the result they're hoping for. Roman 
He's gonna get the ball. He's gonna do a false kick forward. Olsen's going to move in. And Roman's just going to hold this one. Try and keep it away from Villanueva, specifically. And he manages to do so. Olsen's in a good position now. And they're gonna put Sullivan in. Now that would have to be a lofted pass. So Roman's gonna move up. He's gonna get the pass, past Denny and Witherspoon, and it's just Olsen on goal. The cannon shot scores, and Olsen puts Manchester up two to nothing. What a start from Olsen. A great, great pass from Roman. And now, can they respond? Thompson goes for the shot again, and Thompson scores! Scruggs wasn't able to knock it away. Hodges couldn't save it. And Manchester. Manchester's lead has been cut in half. The pass goes from O'Keefe to Calvert. O'Keefe has already shown some weariness, but Calvert has the chance again to break in. Can he keep the offensive display going? The shot is saved by Cal. Call, however you pronounce it. Roman takes the ball. Calvert's going to stay there, and Olsen's going to go in the middle. See what they do. They're going to defend Olsen, obviously, in the middle. They're going to defend Calvert as well. So we could go for the cross, and that's what is going to happen. Calvert doesn't get there, and Olsen keeps position, surprisingly, but the pass is offline, and it's a goal kick. John takes the ball. John moves back into the box. And then into the middle. I can go in with one of those. Yeah, Calvert is simply wouldn't be motivated anymore once he got in. So old Donald goes for the tackle, doesn't get it away. And John's lofted pass gets to Kinney, surprisingly, and the pass gets to Thompson. Can Thompson even the score? He goes for the shot, and Hodges saves this one. This is a central midfielder. So we are going to get the pass out to Thacker, who hasn't had too much action so far. Uh, and is going to just hold this one. Try and keep it away from Reese. Reese goes for the tackle, isn't able to get it. And Villanueva moves into the box, and Sullivan moves out. Ah. The pass is going to go over to Roman. Roman. Go for the lofted pass. But instead, it's just going to go for a regular pass, and it's intercepted by Denny. That was not expected, but Olsen takes it right back. Sullivan only barely takes it away from Olsen. What is Sullivan going to do with it now? Goes for the lofted pass towards Thompson. Doesn't get there. And Bulls takes the ball. So Thacker is going to move out, and he's going to move back in, and then he's going to move up. So we can delay that to halftime. Manchester has the lead 2-1. to one. Now, do we want to change things up and maybe go a little more defensive? I don't know if that's actually 
going to be possible. Um, okay. If we take Dickinson and put and take Thacker out, put also the put Tompkins there and Dickinson there. put Doss in front of Bulls. That might be a good option to keep them out of goal because we need this win. We really need this win. So we're going to start the second half without Thacker, no one on the right wing. And they're going straight to Bulls here. Bulls. Tries to get past Doss, isn't able to do it. Roman is going to bring them out. They can do the false kick again. We could do that. Or we could go to Calvert and have Calvert just hold this one. Or his control is good enough. Calvert's just going to move out to the break in position. What will Witherspoon do? Witherspoon gets the ball away from him. Does manage to tackle it. What's his plan now? He's passing to Denny. And Denny is just moving back. Olsen, though, has, has the advantage here, but can't take it away, unfortunately. However, he is motivated. He's going for the aggressive tackle. Olsen gets the ball right in front of goal. And is just going to go for the power shot. It is saved by Cal, but it goes right back to Olsen. Can he hold on to it? No, he can't. It's taken away by the goalie. Although Olsen seemed to get another motivation there. The pass goes awry for Irube. And Thompson is the one who's coming up for this one. Calvert moves up. O'Keefe moves up so he can then press Thompson. And Calvert takes it away. Again, we just need to play a time game against them. Rube that and it is taken away from Calvert unfortunately Thompson got despite not having the advantage and the nutmeg didn't work O'Keefe took it and once again Calvert is in great position for another break-in he still could go for the cross but that's still not the best option, I think. These shots haven't exactly worked, but the cannon shot is saved by Cal. Doesn't even go back to Calvert, just goes to the middle. And Sullivan takes the ball. What's his plan with it now? He passes out to Witherspoon. And Witherspoon moves out to the front. Olsen comes up. Goes for the tackle, manages to take it away. Olsen actually has decent passing, so he could try and get it to Calvert, and that's what he's going to do. He gets it into the box to Calvert now. And it's a foul in the box! Calvert is fouled in the box. Unfortunately, he will now have to leave the game. We're actually going to bring in Greer, though, instead of Fry to give Greer some experience. Here we go. And this is the first penalty in the new system, so I need to get out the die that I brought along. Now, now we have one for all six positions here. Okay, the die has been rolled, and it is a three, so this, the top left is one, top middle is two, Top right is three, and then four, five, six. So we're going top right. Here we go. And Greer's, and that is a goal. Manchester takes a two-goal lead in. 
three to one. What is Bulls going to do with it now? He tries to get past Doss, isn't able to do it this time either. And is going to pass to Roman. Roman will pass out to O'Donnell, and then O'Donnell is just going to hold this one. And the slide tackle gets, gets O'Donnell. And Reese gets the ball. Reese turns up field, passes to Thompson. Thompson goes for the nutmeg and can't get past Tompkins. Pass is going to go out to Doss, who then passes to O'Keefe. And O'Keefe could try and dribble past, and that's what he's going to do. He dribbles past one and past another, and that will end his turn. Irube is moving up. He's probably going to press to give Witherspoon an easy tackle. But, but Little Rock is basically out of time now. And Witherspoon just moves back. Greer could go up for it. And that's what he's going to do. Greer is just going to move up. Olsen will move over. And Greer will go for the unlikely tackle, isn't able to take it away, and that is game Manchester S takes the first step for that. Wait, Tompkins took the penalty kick? Tompkins? That is Tompkins' second goal of the series. That's incredible. Oh. And Manchester triumphs over Little Rock 3-1. We got level ups for Doss, Roman, Thornton, and that is it. Nope, Calvert also leveled up. Our men of the match, Olsen with two goals. O'Keefe, very helpful as well. And Calvert, who got injured, but thankfully not seriously. More work into the specialization stuff, but not enough for anyone to get an upgrade. And there we have it. Got 14 glory for them. Only one fan. Come on. Come on, folks. What game were you watching there? So here we go. Manchester beat Little Rock 3-1. Jackson beat Montpelier 3-2. Boise beat Montgomery 4-3. Providence beat Topeka 3-1. Concord beat Louisville 4-1. And San Jose beat Columbia 3-0. So moving into the last game of the season, where are we standing? We are standing in sixth place. We are we have a negative three goal differential. Little Rock and Topeka are the only teams that could, we could potentially reach. The three promoting teams and the three relegated teams have already been confirmed. San Jose, Concord, and Providence are promoting. Columbia, Jackson, and Montgomery are relegated. It's that middle pack that's going to be the interesting ones to watch. I'm also going to take a look at our league leaders. So we've got no one for goals. That's not surprising since we only have... We have the third fewest goals in the entire league. Assists Edge, despite not being on our team for quite a while now, is still in the mix of that. Tackle Scruggs. Uh, Scruggs and Shader are both on there. And Hodges is number two in saves. Could have been, could have been number two without this tie with Slack if he'd saved that one shot that got past him. Uh, and Crow, wait, Crow is with Jackson, so that could be interesting. A battle to see who has the most saves. I, I kind of hope it's Crow, but because you know, Hodges didn't need to save anything our next game because indeed we are playing against Jackson in our final game of the season and other teams Topeka takes on Concord and Little Rock and San Jose so our hopes for number four aren't dead especially if Topeka gets beaten by a large margin and we win our game against Jackson by a large margin but the one thing we can do is take care of business, and we did that today, and we're going to try and do it 
the next time, and I hope you join for the final game of Season 2 of Manchester FC. I'm already looking forward to Season 3, and I hope you are too. Leave a like, subscribe for more Football Tactics and Glory and other scripted content, and I have... And comment your thoughts on the season as a whole and the players and anything like that. Anything I should be focusing on in maybe the off-season there. And I hope you have a great day and happy gaming.